Well, congratulations on uh, Hit Monkey. You guys, oh, seen- thank you. So excited. We are just beyond the moon on this. I, you know, one of the first things I just wanted to ask was, you know, what does it look like for you learning lines as Hit Monkey? What it looks like is very funny. I read the script. They give me, it's like a regular script. It's like a regular kind of act. It's a regular acting job, except then I start to put in, fill in the blanks. Okay. So I kind of know what the monkey needs to say or what its emotions are or what his emotions are. And what's great about it is I get to work with this wonderful, you know, uh, writers and directors and producers and, you know, that I get to do it on the fly with them. I record and we'll just do uh bryce might say uh, i'll say bryce we have to we have to go now and or bryce i'm 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 terribly troubled by this and i don't trust this situation and and so they'll be or i'm happy you know and and you start to kind of see where you can plug in the sounds it's more like a musical job really you know uh uh and um we'll do four or five different passes of that. Uh, I don't get to work with the ensemble, unfortunately, because I am such a fan of each uh, uh, person on the show. Uh, but this is, um, it's been, it's, it's, it's been a real trip. <laughs> it's a fun job. I was going to ask if you ever do get to record in the same, you know, booth as any of the other actors, but not makes- yet. Hopefully what, what, it would be fun to do because it would be fun to do reactions off of yeah. especially the stuff with bryce and i'm such a fan of jason's he's it's great he says he, he really i i realized i didn't realize how funny it was going to get until i saw the episodes because i'm always playing the straight sad character there's a lot of pathos there's a lot of this monkey does not want to kill anymore <laughs> he's good at killing and he's rageful but no he doesn't he's at odds you know and in this new season we're kind of trying to redeem ourselves which is which is doubly challenging because we're just going to keep fighting yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun challenge. The big, biggest challenge I mentioned though, is trying to be the, the accurate sounds of the snow monkey with the new dialogue. That's the, that's the challenge here, as opposed to, let's say an alien where I'm making up the sounds, whatever, whatever you, know what you mean? want. Yeah. Season two, brings... stay within this framework. <laughs> uh, season two brings the story to uh, New York city. Yes. Can you see how, you know, that's going to really make the show feel different than when, you know, then season one's locale. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just that there's just so much more corruption, <laughs> you know, and, and chaos. Uh, it's, it's, and there's so much more that can go wrong. Uh, you know, there's just, a, it's, it's, it's a cluster of between, and between Tokyo and New York. And, you know, and this is, this is stuff that Haruka, the character has to deal with, but it's very, um, I think, yeah, New York is great because there's a lot of vertical places. There's a lot of places for a monkey to really uh, get involved. It becomes very much like the books. Uh, And uh, now that we have the supernatural element in it, you're kidding me? There's ghosts and the devil? Are you kidding me? You know, and the end of the world? Yeah, so New York is kind of the perfect place for it. It's, 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 there are more things that can happen. You can hide a little bit easier sometimes. Um... And there's just every kind of good and bad element there, all in this one little place. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah. It, it does. It, 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 it lends itself. New York is, is the perfect chaos also for Monkey's loneliness, or not loneliness, but for sort of his trying to find himself in this very big city already. You know, you play a monkey, obviously. So I felt like I have to. I have to ask this next question. You know, Planet of the Apes just got you know really popular again with the new movie. Yes, uh, I, I, all the work on those those recent films within the past like ten or so years have been amazing. Uh, how much has all of that influenced what you're putting into Hidden Monkey? Because oh, you know, yeah. Well, I would say all of it. I mean, uh, yeah. I'll have to answer in Monkey though. Oh, oh, ah, ah. <laughs> Um, I would say um, it it, it influences in that you really want to keep going back to what my point was before you want to keep it within the realm of reality, even though it's completely insane, you know, as a monkey, a hit monkey with a ghost. Uh, uh, But um, there is a a, a gravity to it. Um, And these primates all have very strong feelings. Right. When you look at Planet of the Apes, I got a chance to, to work on that. Uh, and yes, there are different, I mean, different sound sets, by the way, 
but like you do want to keep it as close to the monkey sounds as possible and the key there is just to convey as much emotion or pathos as possible that's the key that's yeah. really the key yeah so yes, also, all, everything influences everything. <laughs> <for me. laughs> you also play an, uh, another big Marvel uh, creature, you know, devil dinosaur. <laughs> yes. <laughs> By the way, I watched the show for the first time earlier this year, and I was blown away. Oh, um, I'm glad! Really great stuff. Hey, thank you. We we're so proud of that show. They, they, they we really are. We're just it's it was just such an interesting take, and their style is so bizarre. You know what I mean? It's yeah, it's it was very cool artwork in all the know. best ways. Uh, yeah. yeah, you know, looping it to to uh, Hit Monkey, you know, those are both you know characters that are all entirely through kind of these abstract sounds. sounds. Mm -hmm. so, but how do you differentiate those two, and where are the big differences between them? Well, it, again, my job oftentimes my wheelhouse is to bring l emotions and language to character creatures, sounds. That's like one of my things. Uh, I would say the main thing is their differences in characters, uh, like what they are, not only as creatures, but uh, what their wants are and their desires. Interestingly enough, both want peace and both are very, very uh, attached to their partners. You know, mm -hmm. Moon Girl, I'm sorry, Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur. Devil will do anything for Moon Girl. Moon Girl, you know, he is, he's like a dog to her, like a really devoted t-rex dog um and i also i always joke about it. i say my job is to have a broken saxophone i just show up and go <laughs> you know whatever uh i also have a lot of leverage in sound with devil dinosaur because it's more, sort of my own creation of a t-rex uh, he's even more than a t-rex he's this other kind of dimensional character and yeah. so uh i have freedom in terms of what i can do in that sound set uh, he's fierce. He's, um, he has sadness, but he's, um, uh, he doesn't like where he came from. Devil Dinosaur came from a very harsh place and found home with Moon Girl. Whereas our monkey actually had a wonderful home at one time, had a life and they were, and all of them were killed. So the tone is darker. Uh, Devil Dinosaur, even despite his name, is really not interested in revenge. He and his, <laughs> he and his friend, it's more kid-friendly. It's more about protecting, you know, being a superhero. I don't mm -hmm. think Monkey sees himself as a superhero. Monkey is um, started with revenge and has this incredible supernatural connection to this guy, right? This ghost, Bryce. And I think he, Monkey has sadness. Monkey does not like to kill. And does it so well and would really <laughs> like to leave the life. Doesn't necessarily want to leave Bryce, but really if he and Bryce could retire from that, he would be very happy. Yeah. You know, I think he doesn't like the life anymore. And now, and also notice the, the, the tones of the shows are very different. Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur is very friendly. It's a lot more kid friendly the hit monkey is pretty hardcore we don't pull any punches <laughs> there's a lot of <laughs> there's a lot of death and mayhem that you would not see in moon girl and devil dinosaur but i think that the the, the colorations not only the sounds between <laughs> you know to <laughs> like they're different but their characters are, are vastly different they would get along though uh, Devil That's Dinosaur. Okay. I need to see these they characters would, on they screen. They would get along. They would absolutely get along. And I think, I think, um, Hit Monkey, Monkey would really like the the kindness that uh, Devil Dinosaur is. I know it's a strange sentence. Season three of Moon Girl or Hit Monkey, this crossover <laughs> has to happen. It's gotta happen. <laughs> Although the New York, the New York is very different. <laughs> it's a lot scarier. Well, in Hit Monkey. Hit stuff. Monkey's got a scary, scary world it's dealing with too. Would you, uh, would you say Hit Monkey's in a different universe? Yeah. Uh, other than that, we're both in Marvel, but yeah, I'll most definitely in terms of yes, both New York. But I think what we're we're addressing more is a very scary much very frightening uh you know we're dealing with the devil we're dealing with some very unsavory characters in hit monkey and it's and it's fun you know 
the characters in, in Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur are great because it's just like each one has its own song. <laughs> each character each <laughs> has their own genre of music, so it's kind of as a different different thing. And 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 uh, yeah, they're 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 both Moon Girl and Devil Dinosaur are devoted to protecting whatever's happening there. They're not going to do revenge or anything, and the characters are 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 less ab- about that. Uh, whereas right now in Hitmonkey, we got some serious drama going on. <laughs> with, with now i am being hunted right yeah. by yeah so it's a it's a thing and i uh and now I'm, i have a new boss eunice i'm so excited that leslie jones gets is playing this you know and he now has a friendship with leslie with eunice you know what i mean and that's mm-hmm. outside of bryce and that is great that's he needed that for my last question i want to uh pivot real quick to yeah. i have to ask about invincible which you also do some voice work for yes uh, ask about season three uh mm-hmm. do you know when fans might be able to hope to see it and then is there anything you can tease about you know how season three is going to differ from everything that came before okay i gotta be careful but i would say i couldn't tell you when it's it, it will be it, it will be it will be uh i just don't know i haven't been <laughs> i haven't given official uh things yet i will say um what you will see is well the characters really coming into their own i mean really that's kind of what you were hoping for and what you'd expect it gets really dark <laughs> and unfortunately as her father i'm not much of a nicer guy I, I have my problems but uh yeah it's it's you'll you'll see her develop you'll see everybody develop uh further as human beings i guess i should say not just superheroes but like what it is to just be a human in that world do you know what i mean yeah that's going to be a big that yeah there's there's all sorts of uh, oh, God, there's so much i want to share with you but i i, I gotta be careful <laughs> or else i'll like, oh, oh. <laughs> they'll shoot me down <laughs> i'm hoping it's this year hopefully we don't have to wait too long oh you like, won't you won't have to wait too long you will not have to wait too long so i just don't have a date for you that's my thing but no you i need a date and a time and i'm I'm doing it i'm gonna contact you as soon as i find (laughs) as soon as i find out they don't tell me anything (laughs) well thank you again uh, oh gosh thank you a pleasure talking to you russ thank you